made it, guys. That would be Andy and I. Right, Andy? Still awake? Wonderful, wonderful trip. Beautiful weather. Now we're going to see if we can find the group. That's an interesting story in itself. They don't even know our That part coming. was easy. The ranger station is closed today. Check back tomorrow. The people who needed to pick up their paperwork, I guess, was around the corner or something. But now I have no idea where I'm going, except they said something about the escapees being in a loop. Keep right. Keep right. We've got Wisconsin here. We've got good old Texas. Yeah. Oh my gosh, this is going to be interesting. <laughs> I may have to ask a few people along the way. I hope you'll join us. Here, Serene and Simple Life. I got to talk to a ranger. And this is the loop. I mean, this is, and this is the only loop. There's 27 campsites here. And uh, so I just got to find someone outside and ask them if this is birds of a feather. <laughs> Check-in is after one o'clock and it's 2.30 now. So I don't know. I really, don't know. I know that like usually on this, you know, the first day everyone is setting up camp and what have you. And things don't get really moving until the next day. I did find a couple places where I can hike. And um, I have no idea if this is the group or not. This is kind of weird. Never done this before, but I definitely was ready for a getaway. So I will keep you posted as to how this event goes. Oh, my other window. There's a dumpster. That's a good thing. And then we circle back around through the dirty window. I just talked to a lady who is camping on her own. She knows nothing about the group. So I told her if I was driving around in circles, she would know why. Because making memories one campsite at a time. That's a cool little sign there. And uh, there's some people up the ways here. Oh, there's a lady over there. Looks like she might be doing laundry or something. Maybe I'll get out and talk to her. There's a couple ladies. Interesting. <laughs> What's going on here? The lady contact person, his name is Bev. So at least I have a contact name, right? Woohoo! <laughs> I might find them after all. I talked to those two ladies that looked like they were doing laundry. I got out of my SUV RV and the more we talked, they're like, are you sure it's not Swanee Music Camp Park? And I was like, you know what? That music camp thing was in the back of my head and I don't know why. I guess it's on their site. And there was a number to call. So I did call them last week, like I mentioned, you know, to find out there was 19 registered or something. But I've got to drive about 16 miles now. I don't know if it's part of Swanee River State Park or if it's a different park altogether. I have no idea. But I think we got the mystery solved. I will know in about another 20 minutes. Now we're coming up on over three o'clock, but again, you know, usually the first day is setup day. One of the things that surprised me or made me say, mm, I don't think this is it, is all the tents. Because escapees, I think, is RVs for the most part. It's not vehicles and tents. I asked the ranger if there was any place to park for free overnight in a, in a car, and she's like, no. She said, I think I might have a site for $20, and I was like, no, I'll go to a rest area or to Lowe's. That's going to be my plan for the week, which any of you have been following me a while, you 
no, I love rest areas. And I also like the busyness of a truck stop every once in a while. There is one called Busy Bee that's really, really known. And I did some research. I found someone who, who blogged or vlogged on it. And, um, you know, I guess it's just a blog when you read it. I used to do a blog. And uh, a cool place to go and shop and stuff. So, guys, I'll keep you posted when we find this mysterious campsite group new friends. Now, this is going to come in handy. Oh my gosh, anytime I'm at an office where there's like candy, I was visiting my insurance company the other day. She had them all sitting in a bowl away from her and she's like, yeah, I've got them away from me so other people will pick them up. And I'm like, well, let me help you. Yeah, this is bad. I do have a Lily's No Sugar in my snack bag. But for right now, I need some immediate chocolate relief. Put in the comments, are you like that? Like, this is not like frustration or stress or anything. It's just like, it's just a, uh, what the heck am I doing moment. And uh, chocolate always helps those moments. Oh, the little two lane driving off the interstate. Puffy clouds, beautiful day. Traffic in the distance, but not uh, on top of you. This is amazing. Okay, so before we get there, I'll tell you how this all played out. I did a little bit in the, um, you know, leaving my um, cottage retreat. And then I, uh, the video about uh, safety and Patrick and BLM land and all that, that I had won an escapees membership. I told you that in a, in a previous when I was leaving Arizona. So I saw the first, you know, big meetup of the year that I would be able to attend because I needed to stay at my retreat for a while. I had a lot to do and I needed to settle down for a little bit. So perfect timing, you know, six weeks now, or probably six weeks, I'm guessing, since I got home. Maybe only five weeks, yeah. But a little longer than that when you see this. Anyways, someone at my meetup had mentioned about the Solos group and how they were a member. I think I told you that's uh, the Cindy's, two Cindy's. So I was like, you know what, I need to jump in, because if you don't jump into things, the whole year will pass you by and, and I'll be like, I never utilized that membership. And part of me like wanted to call and give it back to somebody and I was like, no, this is an opportunity. This is an opportunity to make new friends. This is an opportunity to go out and explore. Um, I want to explore state parks this year, uh, particularly Florida. Um, so more of that. Um, we visited Florida growing up, but we always went to a couple certain areas. And then uh, my granddaughter was born in Florida, but I haven't really, uh, I've chosen Florida as a state to just go see do. Um, far enough away, you know, from where I'm at and what state I'm in to really make uh, a good time of it. So I thought, you know what, this is, this is like the kickoff to go to a state park. So I emailed the contact person and said, hey, can I share a site with somebody? I'm in a car, uh, I'm new, I've got a new membership. Um, you know, I don't, can I just join in for daytime events? Just random questions, just to make a connection. Well, I gave her, I gave it like a week, week and a half, and I was like, you know what, maybe it went to spam. I mean, that's happened to me before. Maybe it went into her junk. So I emailed her again didn't hear anything and I'm not throwing her under the bus because life happens and things happen and if you're crazy busy it's hard to keep up sometimes but I was like you know what I'll call escapees I'll call the office and see if they can't help me out to get in touch with her like maybe they have a way of contacting her and saying hey Linda's trying to get a hold of you well, the office kind of gave me a little bit of like, no, we don't know who she is, because this is Birds of a Feather, which they have like 25 different groups. And I'm thinking of even how cool it would be to start a, a car camping Birds of a Feather. Put in the, you know, that would be part of escapees, but I could like do a kickoff, you know, with their site. And um, 
also, you know, I want to introduce my RV site. Like you, you know, I can put it online all day long, but it's really nice to meet people one-on-one. -on -one. And I thought this is an opportunity if people want to come and stay at my RV site. And I'm playing with the idea of $150 a week, although don't hold me to that, but that's where I think I'm going with it right now. It could be a little bit more, I'm not sure. Some people have told me I should be more, but that's neither here nor there. That's not about the video right now. So I called escapees. They're like, no, we don't know her. Um, but you can go and email businessconnection at Gmail. Business Connection escapees. I can't remember exactly what it was. And they'll get a hold of you, you know, and I thought, okay, this is cool. This is a good, confident way didn't hear from them and I also found a contact like the I don't think it's a president but somebody that's part of the the group the the solos lead people or whatever I emailed him as well and never heard from anybody so I was like okay Linda you the devil's in the details you can let this stop you or you can go introduce yourself Tell them you, you emailed, show them your escapees card. I mean, I've got my card here. Yeah, I've got my RV card, escapees RV club membership card. Check it out. Show them you're the real deal. And who knows, it could be the best thing ever, right? Or I could stay at home and wish I was here. So here we are, that's what it's all about now. And so I will give you the part two of how everything pans out. Once I meet somebody, I'm hoping I'll meet Bev or somebody that's in charge in the group. And I can imagine they'll probably be very welcoming. Usually groups like this are like, oh, we're so glad you came. Da da da, they want new people, you know? And we'll go from there. So I know my friend Connie is, is, is from the area. So I also, I contacted her, which I told you in the previous video um, about the one on safety and, and all that. My little very opinionated on that one video. And uh, so she might come for the day. And if nothing else, you know what? I can go on hikes and walks by myself. I can enjoy nature. I did it for over three years and I loved every minute of it. So this is just a way to get me, get me out. And I know people will say like, you're leaving your tiny, your cottage, it's so cute, you just got there. No, no, no. See, the whole plan was to be able to own the land and the cottage outright, and that's not bragging. That's giving you empowerment so that I could go see do. Two years ago, I did a video. Yeah, I can afford a lease, but I can't go see do also. I can't do both. So now that I don't have a lease, I need to take advantage of this short life that we live in, that we have here on Earth. You know, could all end today? We don't know. Only God knows. I need to take advantage of Go See Do and see more of the country. Yeah, I've seen all 50 states except Alaska, but I haven't even touched the, the surface of states and what there is to see. So, there you have it, guys. I'm here searching for the group. If I never find the group, it's still going to be a wonderful week. I'll go to rest areas at night. I'll have myself a blast. I brought paperwork. I got, I've got things to muddle through and piddle through. And it's just a little, you know, get out from under your th four walls. Even though my cottage is cute, it's still four walls when all is said and done. And I am going to do a new video on what do I like better? Do I like being in my cottage or do I like being on the road? What do you think? Previews of coming attractions, put in the comments. Does Linda like her cottage or does she like being on the road or are they equal? We'll see. This is a good week of um, some tell-all. All right, we'll talk to you again soon, soon as we find somebody. OMG moment, the spirit of the Swanee Music Park. Okay, one trailer back there. 
Weapons not allowed on site. All weapons will be confiscated by law enforcement. <laughs> There's no way to get in. <sighs> but Google Maps was not making me turn here. They told me to turn up ahead here. So the mystery continues. I feel like we're getting hot here. <laughs> Spirit of the Swanee Music Park, where music lives. All right. And here's a little shanty where you check in. And that could be the loop right there. Who knows? All right, so now we're supposed to keep on going straight. And we've got the map here, the loop camping. And then it's going to be the first right. So I, she didn't know anything about the group either. <laughs> it's the mystery group. She looked at me like... What the heck was I talking about when I said birds of a feather escapees? And like, I guess people, they get like escapees. Like escapees from where? <laughs> from jail. Yes, the four walls jail. So, yeah. I don't know. Is this some of them? I'm thinking those look really permanent there. And I think we're going to just go up here a little bit further. I think they have a really cute um, store here, too. So we'll just keep going. Music Hall Cafe. Yes, this is the beginning of the season. Janitorial staff, country store on Lake Road. Ice cream, subs, and pizza shop. None of this looks open. You would think on a Sunday this would be open. Hmm. So I'm going to turn here. Loop. Doesn't get any clearer than that, right? We turn, turn, turn. And we see somebody. Oh, look at that cute cabin. That's called a corner cabin. That's fun. That would be a good place to live right there. Lots of activity. More dumpsters. And then this looks like a loop with hardly anybody here, but at least there's a person out to talk to. Well, looks like there's tiny homes here that are permanent, huh? You know, permanent, like as in uh, what I had in Lyerly, Georgia. They're probably on trailers. The kind I was not allowed to build where I was at. Oh, these are so cute. Or maybe they rent these out. Who knows? But I just talked to a lady. So let me get back at you on that. Let's go over here. More campers here. Escapee solos. Well, that's a good sign. Whoa, maybe I'll walk over there. How about that? Yeah. Oh my gosh. Look, escapee solos, and this is Beverly. So we're gonna go have a little chat and see what we can see and what we can learn. I just talked to Melissa, who said there's a meetup get together at site number 83. That's this one. Oh, it is this one? This is 83. 83 at four o'clock, right? Yes. Awesome. That's why we got some chairs. Bring your own chair. Oh, nice. This is getting a little long, but all's well that ends well. You're not going to believe this. Beverly apologized profusely like a hundred times. I told her she did not need to. I was coming here anyways. So yeah, it would have been nice to, you know, God's just blessed me so much. And I just am, you know, growing and learning, you know, giving people grace. People give me grace all day long. So we got to talking and I was like, yeah, I emailed you about a space to stay and, and this and that. She pointed at her space. She said, you can park right here. She said, what are you in? I said, I'm in it. My friend calls this my SUV RV. She's like, okay. She's like, I'm so sorry. It's people like you that I want, like new people that grows a group, you know? And, and so I felt that that was going to be the case is they always, you know, people welcome new people too. But um, that's that's it. Her space is number 83. The, the meeting is at 4 o'clock. 
and I'm going to be able to stay here instead of going back and forth, um, hang out for the week. I am stoked. Um, yeah, when I go up to my tiny home community, I'll get my fill of maybe a loves or a rest area, but I won't have to go back and forth every day. You know, I'll be here for coffee or whatever. And the restrooms and showers are right here. And this is really pretty. So who would have thunk? All right, the moral of the story, guys, is go see do. And don't let things hold you back. You know, if you don't hear from somebody or the connection doesn't seem quite right, it's the devil's in the details, but so is God. And I am, I couldn't be more happy. The last girl I met, she's new. Her name is Melissa, um, came from Massachusetts, and now she's um, in uh, Florida. And uh, so she didn't know where anything was or what was going on either. But um, I guess we're spread out here a little bit. Um, Beverly is retired Navy. I thanked her for her service. Um, she's got a mom she's taken care of and 2,000 emails and you just never know what's going on in somebody's life. And so this is a learning lesson for me too. You know, I don't hear from people and I think it's a sign that um, I shouldn't pursue, but that's not the truth. All right. I'm excited. I will do another video on how this all goes and hopefully I can interview a couple people here and even get the group getting getting bigger right put in the comments if you have questions about this and i'll try to answer your questions in another video about this uh, group and you can go to the website too they actually have their own website the the solos does but you go to escapees.com first and then you'll find the different community groups all righty blessings in your day joy in your journey your journey Love you guys.